here we have a wild beast. He's about two inches tall and a thousand meters wide. That that's that guy. He's about two inches tall and a thousand meters wide. He's he's in his natural habitat right now. He's okay. And here we have the mythical Oompa Loompa. He's about two inches tall and a trillion meters wide. And here we have the little windy little um, Mahalia. And she, her hair is like a lion's mane. And here we have a normal human being that is not like them. That does people. It's totally normal. Okay. So now we're heading up the stairs. Hopefully don't we run hopefully we don't run into any more mythical beasts be actually considered really dangerous and we don't wanna like um place them. And this is this is the beautiful water that the mythical beasts um do their stuff in, their business, you know. And that's what makes it so beautiful. Because yeah, oh we're in a rainforest because yeah that's that's where the mythical beast roam and that rock was placed there by my uncle Barry Barry Jerry Nary and this this is SpongeBob SquarePants Auntie Nelly Rest in peace Auntie Nelly As I was walking through this and on Auntie Nelly I seen a mythical little cicada shell that I'm about to crush Yep, and now it's called Cicada Dust. Oh no, guys, it appears I am lost. I'm lost in the mythical dungeon of beasts. And I'm roaming through the forest. Ah! Okay, guys, I escaped. I just seen a big gorilla. And it, and it ate. It took a big chunk into this. It bit it. And then it scratched my face, as you can see. Yeah, it was so scary. I see two people. Uh, I'm scared. This is my uh, this is my pull up ring because I do pull ups every morning because I live in this jungle, and and this is my fare. I live up there, and this is my toilet. Yep, this is a beautiful toilet. I call it gym. This that I call my toilet gym. So every time I go to my mate's house, they're like, "Oh, where where were you this morning?" I was like, "Oh yeah, at the gym," and they're like, "Whoa!" When in reality, it's just my toilet. <laughs> and here's Patrick's aunt Nelly. That back then that was Spongebob, but now this is Patrick's because it's a triangle. That's how you can tell the difference. There's the mythical Oompa Loompa again. I found her. The mythical Oompa Loompa's chasing me. It's back there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's, it's back there. This is my second toilet. I call out, I call it working out. So every time my friends are like, where were you? I was like, oh yeah, I was at the gym and I was working out. Oh, and this is a pathway that I created when I was three. It's really easy to get up instead of going up the, um, the big steep cliffs. I can hear a windy little baby. Now we have reached the view. This is, oh, there's a person. Okay guys, I am literally on the edge of a cliff, as you can see, I'm on the edge of a cliff, I could die any moment. And see that big rock? That's my great uncle Barry's bones, yeah he's humongous, I ate him, and left his bones over there, that's why I did them. As you can see I'm walking on my bare feet because I'm wa I've been walking up these cliffs for so long and trying to find where I'm going. It's so sore. I jumped over this fence. It says Proviet Propoti, but I'm pretty sure that means safe. I found some flax. Oh, and this is my umbrella. That's my umbrella. Oh, I heard a chimpanzee. Oh, and this is my food. This, it, it's called bear bark, something like that. It's really yum on on um on this stuff, on that wetter stuff. Um, yeah, it's really good. And the wetter you use it as a dip and dip the bark in it, the bark in it, and it's really yum. 
Okay, this has been my crazy adventure. I don't want to reinforce these people. Dead people. Oh yeah, um, I found someone's um place. They told me to go away and they aimed this big um goon. I think it's called. And they said, get out of here! But I'm still walking around the back of the house and they don't know. <gasps> I've made peace with the Oompa Loompa. These are its eyeball bags. It's eyeball bags. They're really um crazy looking. Yeah, um, it's made peace with me. Ah, it's trying to attack me! <laughs> I think I've escaped the Oompa Loompa. It's gone. As you can see, I'm very scared of humans. Humans. They're very scary in my rainforest. Someone's calling me Bug. So I've been walking in this rainforest for so long and I found my Uncle Hingle McCringleberry's carving and he tried to make a chair, but it's really ugly. Don't tell him. Oh, wait, you can't because he's dead. Um, yeah. mm. <gasps> I think something just came out of my bum. It felt like ear. This is not edible. Don't eat it. One time I ate it, and then um, I had this diarrhea for like a week. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So here it says May. M. A. Y. I was born in May, and this stands for 20. It's something. And I hear the Oompa Loompa talking. I've got to go over there and see what she's talking. I think we found the Hippopotato's footprint. Look. That's just its toe that's why it's called the hippopotamus toe because it walks on its toes and there's its footprint and there's more of them leading down there <laughs> oh my gosh it's a hippopotamus toe that's its toe ah! <gasps> here we found the schmirtle it's close relatives to a turtle and it's blue okay oh it's gone and it left something what did it leave oh something a piece of I think the hippopotato, we've made peace with it. Or either it's just sleeping. Because it's not moving. It's really hairy. See? That's hair because it's a really hairy hippopotato. Mm. And there's rocks in it. That's because it's covering up its private. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. We just found the historic circle. It's a stone circle. And it's really historic. No one's found it. And Billions of years, the dinosaurs discovered it, and aliens put it here because, look, who could have made that? And apparently when you're in the middle of them, you get superpowers, and, and it breaks your neck every time you blink. Oh, I'm out of them now. Okay, my neck's not broken anymore, that's good. I'm on the circle. I'm going to jump to this one. <laughs> Gosh, it must be the hippopotamus sleeping time because they're all just sleeping. Like, they're not doing anything. Like, like it's so weak because they're like all sleeping. Like, it's why are they all? <laughs> okay, we're hiding from the hippopotamus behind this big ass rock that I found behind the circle, and it scratched my face. I'm bleeding over here. It's so sore, just but over here. <sighs> Okay, guys, that was it for this jungle video. It was a crazy journey, but um, hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, cause this was like the most dangerous things I've ever done. Look, that is the big hippopotamus. I got attacked again. Okay, but.